everybody, Lorraine here. Tonight I am going to do a swipe in some different colors than uh, what I've used in the past. kind of wanted to try a different color palette out. And what I have here is a Master's Touch Crimson. It's a very pretty deep red. Um, this is a Master's Touch Silver Metallic. And then a Payne's Gray by Master's Touch. Such a pretty deep blue-gray color. I love it. And then I picked up this, um, it's a Deco Art Metallic. It says Dazzling Metallic. And it's Peacock Pearl. And it's a really pretty turquoise pearl color. And I am going to put two drops of my treadmill silicone in each one of these colors. Okay, give them a stir. And I'm trying to decide what color I want to swipe this with, whether I want to swipe it with the Payne's Gray or the silver. I'm kind of leaning towards the silver, but I think I'm going to put a little bit of silver on the canvas as well. So, I'm going to get rid of my chair and get started. These paints are mixed um, with Elmer's glue, the school glue, and water. I mix it 70% glue, 30% water. I'm going to put just a little bit of the silver in here, not a lot. I think that's what I want to swipe with. I think that'll look really nice. And then put the Payne's Gray down. This metallic peacock, what is it called? Peacock Pearl. Tilt this so that they all cover the entire canvas. I think my Peacock Pearl was a little bit thinner than my other paints. Silver is doing some really cool things already here. Ooh. 
while I'm tilting this, I just want to say thank you everyone for coming and watching me paint today. Appreciate it. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like what I'm doing. I try and put videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I've been pretty successful at doing that. And that way you can catch the videos whenever I put them out. And let me know what you think of them. Okay. Now that looks like a gigantic mess right now. But, oh, I dripped on my, my swipe. I have a piece of, um, this is a plastic file divider that I'm going to use to swipe with. Move this out of the way. And put a little of this on the top. won't cover the whole thing, so I am just going to kind of split it in half, ish. Make sure you get full contact when you do this, and just bring it down slowly. Paper towel. Add a wipe. Oop, that did not work out. Go to this other side. Overlap it a little bit. I get a lot of pressure on the one side there. Just need to do it lightly. Works best if you stand up while you're doing this. So that way you can step back when you need to. already see the silicone popping up through. Set this one here in my bucket. I can clean it. Okay. And I'm going to use my torch. Just going to touch down in different places. As you noticed, I had color underneath the entire area instead of just having one big band of my swipe color. That way color will come up through there as well. That silver is not as shiny as I expected it to be. Maybe it'll dry shinier than it is. I think my torch is running out a little bit here. Another one there. Something right there. And I'm going to let that just kind of develop. Hoping that the silver gives it some nice webbing. See a couple of spots here that um, went down to the canvas on me. I'm just going to try and drop a little bit of that same color in there. Touch 
my sides up. And like I said, thanks for coming and visiting with me. If you like my videos, you can hit the subscribe button and then you'll know when I put new ones out. Hit the bell for notification. And I'm thinking that I am going to do a giveaway, a few of them in August of my painting, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's see if we can get you a close up here. These are going to continue to grow with the silicone in them. But here we go for now. It's getting there. I think I want one more right there. Let's see if I can get that right in that spot. One little cluster. And yeah, my torch is running out. I'm going to have to fill it. Those will grow. Alright guys, thanks for visiting. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. So I think my paint was a little bit too thin for this. But it still has some really, really cool effects. The way the lacing is here, down here, I like the bright red cells. That spot there got a little wobbly. I think I'll try this one again with my paints a little thicker than I had them. I like this right here. It kind of reminds me of nerves what you would imagine your nervous system looks like. It's pretty cool. So again, guys, thanks for visiting with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.